Zoom, 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 uh, zoom, world. How about for folks? Wabel kabum, tubo, zubum, wabarold, maba nabam, abas, daba yobo. That means my name is Dole, welcoming you to Zoom World, a fun filled YouTube channel devoted to the classic PBS Kids Show Day Zoom. Back again with another Zoomer Spotlight vid. Today I'm going to go back to season three. And I'm going to be tackling the Zoomer who I consider to be one of the most, if not the most super coolest Zoomer guys out there. I mean, he made Season 3 a whole lot of fun. I mean, since he, along with Donna and Mike, joined Danny McGrath, the first Danny, Neil, and Edith and Lori from day one. And then after those four left, they got Sean and... Danny to well, Danny Malloy, Hector, and Rose for the rest of us. Anyway, I think he's really cool. He's got the moves, and he's really talented and all. So now, without further ado, the Zoomer I'm going to spotlight today, or should I say this week, is none other than... Timmy Prunes, yes. This guy I consider to be the super coolest Zoomer guy of them all. You saw that little intro of his, it got the real moves and what have you. Now throughout the video, I'm going to show you some of, the, my, some of the best moments I've seen with Timmy. Probably not all of them, because it'd take a long time for me to find so many. But anyway, I think Timmy is just a great Zoomer. Wherever he is, I just hope he knows that there's a, someone who's really come to like the original Zoom. And, well, hope he knows that I'm liking the, what he provided. He's a very talented Zoomer guy. So, anyway, throughout the video, I'll be showing clips with him. Some Zoomers will also be including this. So, be ready for what you can expect. So, if you're ready, here we go. Okay, now... Now, Mike's playing this guy here is about to throw darts at this here, here well, guy, and that's Timmy with these invisible darts. <laughs> yeah. I think this is something I failed to include in my Mike video from not so long ago, but hey. I gotta say, it was really funny. <laughs> Look at Timmy. Yeah, really funny. Yeah, Timmy's also a pretty funny guy, too. Mm-hmm. But we're just getting sorry. Here's more. Okay, yeah, here's Timmy's little secret guy and Lori's one too. Again, as a matter of fact, that was introduced in the third season. Yeah. Okay, here's a funny skit. Timmy's playing baseball and Mike's doing the baseball bit. Yeah. And um Edith's catching the ball, then Neil's being the umpire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't mind the close captions. This is what they used in the first episode of season three. Okay, here's Timmy along with Neil and Lori. They're reading some Zoom mail. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, Zoom Mail was still pretty popular with Zoom. I mean, if they had a, they didn't give the address, they'd get, well, you know, there's Mike, but. Again, like I said, you'll see different Zoomers, but anyway. Just so I'd show off some others reading the mail, not, well, including Mike. I'm going to let that one go through. I think that was, yeah, that's another thing I failed it to include my mic video, but it's still doing pretty well, though, you know. <laughs> okay, here's Timmy at the intro for the very first Best of Season 1 through 2 episode. They got a letter from someone who didn't give their name or address, meant telling them that they'd like to see the best of what they saw in the first and second seasons. And they thought, and Timmy thought that was a good idea, and they did that for some episodes. Pretty cool, huh? 
Okay, here's Timmy along with Don and Danny, Danny McGrath, the first Danny of Zoom. They're doing a Zoom phenomenon. Now, Timmy, of course, was pretty good at doing some of these here bits when this was introduced in the third season. And he also introduced them. We hear Donna, then Danny. They still used that after that little same little intro with Danny's voice heard, even after he left. Hey, I've got to admit, these are pretty good. The these Zoom phenomenons are. Okay, here's Timmy and Danny again. And all the other Zoomers are watching as they try to lift this box using only, like, um, their feet or, or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty much of a real challenge there, huh, folks? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and here's another fun skit with Timmy. He's visiting the barber. That's, um, of course, Danny. Yeah. Apparently, when he's trying, when he's trying to get Timmy's hair done, he's just doing all, all sorts of other things, trying to pull away and what have you. Really something. Oh boy, it's absolutely hysterical. Uh, here's Timmy and Mike getting a little bit of a pretend boxing match. Don't worry, you see they're not hitting each other. <laughs> yeah. Boy, that's see what they did in the Yeah, knocked him out. Now, of course, I've shown this clip already. Here's Timmy introducing the Crab Softer Zoom game, which is really funny. Well, they had to use a balloon, though, instead of an actual ball, because if they had used a real ball, they would have wrecked the equipment around it. And, you know, <laughs> like I gotta say, this was pretty fun. I mean, yeah, as you can see, they had a lot of fun doing that. But, I always love And, Lori, you know, what have you, it's fun. It's right. Mm hmm Well, you can tell by the hands, it's Timmy doing a puzzle here, done by um, one of these three sisters in a Zoom do segment. Boy, those are really challenging, huh? Okay, here's Timmy again. He's, we got um, Danny and Dollar. The boy right there, that's Roland Granfers. He was the first Zoom guest featured in the, in the third season. He came by in episode 311 to talk with some of the, the Zoomers. He brought a translator with him so they can translate what he's saying because he's deaf. Yeah, Roland Granfers is one of my favorite Zoom guests of the third season. Yeah, he took part of a Zoom rap and I believe a Zoom game and a Zoom barrel challenge as well. Okay, here's Timmy and Danny. They're doing a little body part to body part or something like that. I know this game was also used in um, a Season 6 episode. But anyway, yeah, there's Don and Lori. We got Edith and Neil back there doing that. Mike's telling which part they got connected to or something like that. <laughs> Okay, here's Timmy doing some push-ups and why are we doing trying to do something uh, that they can do a whole lot of in a zoom barrel challenge. Yep. Pretty good, isn't he, huh folks? And you might recall I showed a bit of this in my video on Die. Here's Timmy and Die in um a visit from the Green Planet. Yeah, you see Don, but you're going to see Timmy in a moment or so. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. He and Don did one heck of a job in doing this little play. I thought it was pretty good. Here's Timmy playing the coach in the big game play of the week. Definitely got to share this with y'all one day. We'll see. I think I might soon since football season's about to begin. Yep. 
Now here's Timmy a little bit where he reads it where it's saying how do they get a Zoom card? Well, this was shown twice throughout the second half of season three, and he reveals what they have to do: send a self-addressed stamped envelope, or a Stacy episode was called when the fourth season started. You see? Yeah. Now here's a little something I failed to include in my Donna video, I believe. This is the Talking Dog. Very funny play. And Timmy plays or oh, this Talking Dog Donna plays. Yeah, Donna's pretty cute with those pigtails, you know. And well, here's Timmy calling up somebody and that Hector. Trying to get some advice on what to do with the talking dog. Uh, we see um, Timmy go up against Mike in a little Zoom game. Yeah, something like this is kind of like a curse to win, lose, or draw, or something like that, you know. <laughs> okay, now here's Timmy getting to his bit of Run Along Home. Which again, thanks for making this hit 100 views so quickly. And it's still doing pretty well. Uh, thank you. I gotta say, this song is still absolutely a blast. It's absolutely hysterical. Okay, here's Timmy, and we see him. We're gonna see some others. This is Timmy Cummings, another favorite Zoom guest of mine. He's a blind kid. Yes, he was featured in Zoom number 325. They got the chat with him. There's Timmy, there's Danny Two, Danny Malloy, there's Mike. Well, and, well, and you see Timmy Cummings there, and Sean's right next there, it she is. Yeah. I gotta say, he's a pretty nice kid. I actually got to learn that um, Donna actually got to meet him. I know she wasn't featuring the little chat one, but she actually did get to meet him. Yeah. From the looks of it, I'd say he's a, he's a good guy. And here's Timmy in Princess Plane Face, which I recently showed the clip of that not so long ago. Yeah, he did a pretty good job with his narration of this. Okay, and here's Timmy starting up the tune and getting out with all the errors and was they start saying Johnny Be Good, which of course was a cover of the song originally done by Chuck Berry. I gotta tell you, he does one heck of a job. This is one of his many fine talents of doing this thing and what have you. I really like it. He's got the moves, as I've already mentioned a few times already. <laughs> now, here's Timmy opening a very special little packet sent, sent in to them in a Zoom mail segment. Well, I'm going to try out these plain glasses that's got... The, Formed the word Zoom. Can you believe that? Looks really neat. Oh. And here's Timmy getting in with the salty dog, Greg. And there's Rose right on the side singing right after him. Boy, they're both really cool. Like them both. But everybody did one heck of a job with this little number, you know. Okay, here's Timmy again. Mike's coming up. They're, this is from a play called Too Many Rhymes. I got a short this to y'all one day, maybe. Pretty cool. He and Hector and Rose's characters in this play are getting tired of Mike's character's rhymes and what have you. <laughs> well, you can see a little bit on the by those hands and arms. That's really Timmy. And, well, he's joining Rose and Hector in the Zoom. There he is. There's Timmy. Yeah, they're making pretzels. I gotta tell you, I think I only gotta think of doing this one day. Uh, what they did with their pretzels was pretty cool. Here's Timmy with a big old um, prop tuba as he's part of McNamara's band. I gotta share this video one day too. Here's another fun bit that where Timmy really shines. <laughs> it really does. He and the Zimmers are doing this little lion mine. Really great song. Now, unfortunately, um, t here's something I want to tell you, it's like spoilers since I never showed anybody the clip of this, but anyway, Timmy had to go to the hospital because he hurt his leg in as they were filming this, but he came back to finish the number with the gang, so 
you'll see that he's limping. You'll see when I give you the video someday, okay? Okay, here's a funny bit. Um, a little funny skit, and uh, well, he kind of messes up, and can be starting to laugh. And <laughs> yeah, kind of messed up. Well, uh, I mean, you go take two. You're doing a little funny skit, and what, and what have you. And he's calling the waiter. Wheels flying in a suit or something like that. Yeah. It's pretty darn funny. Mm hmm. Here's Timmy and the gang getting down the Mississippi mud. Well, Hector wasn't with the group. But I gotta say, Timmy did one heck of a job with the, with the gang here. There they go! Timmy's getting them to come on over! Really funny. And that that's back. Here comes good boy. And it's not and Rose giving Timmy Money's eyes and now he's giving it back to him. Pretty funny, huh? Alright, now um Timmy's about to lead some of the Zimmers into Boa Constrictor. This was a classic and what have you. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't have done this, couldn't have completed this video without that, you know. I mean, that was probably one of another great moments of Tim E's, and, well, again, this is why he was so talented, you know. So here's Timmy right here, and he's joined by Rose and Mike as they sing the little jingle for the Zimmer dress before they go into the local motion, yeah. So there you have it. Now you've seen Timmy Prunce, and I gotta say, he is definitely, he was definitely, he was a good Zoomer. Very talented, super cool, etc., etc., etc. Anyway, so what did you think? Is Timmy one of your favorite Zoomer guys? You can let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and be a part of this great channel that is Zoom World. Stay tuned, I'll have another video coming up real soon. Well, on Wednesday, like I usually do. But anyway, yeah. So, thanks for watching my video on Timmy. And if you like this, check out the vids I did on these other Season 3 Zoomers. The upper left-hand corner is the vid I did on Donna, which is almost up to 100 views, finally. The upper right-hand corner is the one I did on Mike, which is not yet close, but it's getting there. Or go to the bottom left-hand corner and see the Princess Plain Phase Play of the Week. And the bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you're into the great PBS Kids show that is Zoom, then Zoom World is the channel for you. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is your friend Duol saying see ya.